All right, I am back, and I caught it way sooner, so I didn't have like four seconds of downtime. Still doesn't have enough food. All right, okay. Come on, take me home. <laughs> Mommy? And that's all Ree's ever going to say. After that, or not Re, but uh, Kamiya. After that, Re cuts out his vocal cords and Kamiya's deaf mute from then on. Or, not a deaf mute, just regular mute. Because <laughs> being a deaf mute just sucks. I don't know, it could only be worse though if you also cut off the guy's hands. Eh, who knows. He wonders. He wonders what I was doing out there by myself. Um, totally not escaping some miners who are going to sell me for money. That's right. Oh, uh, without a strip of clothing? Hmm, without a strip of clothing, um... The curves ate it. Yeah. Curves. They ate it. Coolest hideout ever. If you were a bunch of orphans and you had that as a hideout, it would be awesome. Introducing Tipo! He's got purple hair and a mysterious past. And he's very hungry. As you can tell, he just said. He's home. Welcome home. Don't eat me! I am not made of anything happy. I'm all bones! All bones! Yes, Tifa will eat anything. Who is that anyway? Um, a dragon? Who's. That's right. Ree's just like, eh, we're gonna put him in your bed, not my bed. Screw that. So, who is he? Let's call him Kamiya. That sounds like a great name. Ree doesn't know. Ree just found him in the woods. Like one episode ago. Really? Sounds like what happened with me. Second important story plot, go! An orphan. Not surprising. It's been a lean year. Well, why don't we let him sleep? While we go to the village. If we don't get some food soon, you'll all die of starvation. <laughs> Someone abandoned him. Just like me. Important story plot yet again. Tifo's just full of them. He's the tiny purple haired terror. Speaking of purple hair. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh. Don't you see, Kamiya? You're the same as me. You must destroy your parents. Understand, yeah, that's totally where I was going. They're weak, pitiful, and pathetic. Wow, thanks. You know, the guy playing this is kind of human. Oh god, blinding light! Ooh, pretty lady with wings. Totally a windian. Totally. Oh, so float, float. She's floating. Oh, she's looking at me. I'm so privileged. Get 
Kamiya? Kamiya. Oh, oh. She looks like she might be touching the ground. Her Kamiya. Not my Kamiya. Her Kamiya. 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 Now entering Kamiya. Hmm. Oh, that's right. He also says this a lot, too. Uh, this is the most talkative Kamiya will ever be throughout the entire story. Pajamas! Woo! Pajamas! Stealing from cupboards? Anything here? I found something I won't use till a lot later. Anything here? I found something I'll use as soon as I'm done with this story arc. A lot. Yeah, I'm a big fisher, and in my opinion, Breath of Fire 3 has the best fishing in the entire game. Oh, click. I found Skill Ink. Oh, is it here? Yeah. I also found Amoya. Yeah, those guys are enemies that are just going to tell me how to beat them later on in the game. Oh, the other one tells me about camping. I like to camp. Oh. Yeah, really like Breath of Fire 3 for all its different stuff that it does. I can get enemy abilities by watching them hurt me. Is it around here? I can never remember. Oh. Yep, there it is. I found Green Apple! Granny Smith, my favorite. Oh shit, seven minutes already. Alright, I'm done here. See you next time.